What's up everyone, my name is Speedstreak, and welcome back to Sonic CD. Well, here we are at the lovely Tidal Tempest Zone. And by lovely, I mean very creepy, very eerie, and actually pretty cool looking zone. But to Sonic, of course, means danger, trouble, and oh snap, it's my worst weakness ever. Water. I haven't, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading any videos lately, it's just that I've been a bit busy with Five Nights at Freddy's 2020-2020 mode. And let's just say, it's very irksome. I mean, it's taking me a while. I'm just taking a break from it, but I will get back to it later. So how's everyone doing? Oh, hope you're having a great December so far. Did you get your Christmas trees yet? Have you finished decorating your houses? Oh, and have you been Christmas shopping for your friends and family? I'm still currently working on those as well. You know what? I need to decorate a tree with my family. Anyways, I would like to talk about the Sonic Boom TV show. And it's actually one of my favorite, like, kid shows. I like, I really like season two so far. For the latest episode, Alone Again Unnaturally, it's actually pretty cool. What the episode is about is that Tails built like a device which is almost look, looks like a tachyon device from the Flash TV show, which helps Sonic go so fast that he went out of phase with everyone from everyone else's phase of existence. So he's so fast that he's invisible. Kind of like Savitar. I haven't I haven't fin I haven't gone to the mid-season finale of the Flash yet, so please don't give me any, any spoilers yet. Okay, where are you, roboticizer? But still, the episode is really cool. I heard that that people, I heard that people mentioned that there were like the music is a bit similar to Back to the Future, and I heard the similarities too. That's actually pretty cool. Okay then, but I am a bit upset about the. Oh come on! Okay. Sorry, trying to get over that ledge. Whoa! Okay, I'm over the pipe. As I was saying, I'm a bit disappointed with, like, how many people are, have been watching it. I mean, like, every week this, I think the, whoa. There's, like, fewer and fewer people watching it because of its schedule. I mean, come on! Cartoon Network, give Sonic Boom a bit more respect, okay? I mean... I mean, the series itself is good enough. Uh oh, I, I need to get, I need to get there, I need to get there. Jump! Uh oh. Okay, at least there was a bubble right there. Look, I don't know how I'm getting through those. Okay. There we go. On to the special zone. So yeah. I actually can't wait for this week's episode. At least it's back on Cartoon Network. And speaking of heroes, there is one certain hero that we all know and love who's back at a certain cinematic universe that we all know and love. And... Whoa, okay. Sorry, sorry, I'm trying to not... Try not to hit the water here! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, 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 no. Okay. Ah, boy, oh boy. Whoa! Jump! Okay, at least I only have three left. Oh, ow! Stupid chompers. Good. Yes! Okay, cool! I have one left! Alright, alright! We're doing well so far. Ah, oh, great. Ah! Oh, boy. 
Oh boy. Mm, there you are. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to concentrate on getting the special zone in. Yes, yes, yes. Whew, that was a close one. Alright then. Another time stone acquired. Seriously, what has Robotnik? How many time stones has Robotnik gotten so far? Mm, zero. Anyways, as I was saying, there's a certain superhero who's come back home. And we got two trailers for him. And what I'm talking about is Spider-Man. Yes, everyone. Spider-Man is back in Spider-Man Homecoming. I mean, when I first saw the trailers, it actually reminded me of the Tobey Maguire era of Spider-Man. Ever since I was a kid, I... Spider-Man is actually one of my favorite superheroes ever. Oh boy, be careful with the water jets. Oh, come on. Oh boy. Okay, wait. Can I go through there? No, I can't. Okay. What the? Oh. What are those insects called again? I, I, totally, I totally forgot what they're called. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Sorry if I got off subject here. Anyways. Spider-Man is definitely one of my favorite Marvel heroes ever. I need to be careful with this. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Thank you, bubbles. Okay. That was a bit. That was way too close. Okay, I need to find a past... Oh, is that a past one up there? I'm not sure. I don't know. I need to find one before I leave this zone. Nope. Nope. Oh, is there one up there? Come on! Just let me get up there, you stupid... Thank you! Oh, boy. It's all of the timing, huh? Oh, okay. Yes, I passed. Cool. Anyways, for Tobey Maguire, when I first saw him as Spider-Man, he was actually pretty good. And when I saw Andrew Garfield, he also did a pretty good job as well. For me, I like both actors who did, he did a really good job as Spider-Man. But when I saw Tom Holland's performance in Captain America Civil War, I thought to myself, this is the best Spider-Man ever. And with Spider-Man Homecoming, after I saw the trailers, both the teaser trailer and international trailer, I'm like, welcome home, Spider-Man. You're the best. I mean, I'm actually glad that Marvel is bringing back the classic Spider-Man. I mean, for me, the classic Spider-Man look is actually pretty cool. With the... The gliding webbings underneath his arms. That actually looks pretty cool. And for the vulture, it looks amazing. Oh boy, need to be careful with those spikes. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I need to find that metal sonic hologram. Good. Thank you. Well, I think there was. A bubble there or else I would have drowned now where are you okay and if you want to check out the trailers for yourself they're already on YouTube I don't want to go to the future I need to find the roboticizer and wait is this the way no I'm just going back to the beginning Wow oh boy oh I'm stuck in a loop there we go. Wait, this is... Oh. Okay. I need to go this way. No, don't go to the future. Do not go into the future. I haven't even found the... Hologram or roboticizer yet. Okay. No, 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 no,
Okay. Let's wait. I've already been here. Okay. I mean, for the Spider-Man tr Homecoming trailer, it is amazing. I mean, not only that, but it's but it also has a certain adventure we Avenger that we also know and love. Iron Man. And that's actually pretty cool. I mean he I mean for Spider-Man Homecoming, and also we also show how Peter Parker deals with high school while trying to be a superhero as well. So I think that's a pretty nice touch. Oh, there's a metal sonic hologram. Okay then. Now oh, where are you, you roboticizer? Get get up there! Come on! There we go. Oh, oh is it up here? I hope it is. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I think we're heading in the right direction. Well no 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 no! Do not do not go 88 miles per hour and do not do not go past the sound barrier, okay? Sonic, don't. Okay. Oh boy. Half foot. I need to get. Where is it? Where is the stupid roboticizer? I know it's around here somewhere. I just can't find it. Ooh, that was way too close. Wait, is it down here? No, it's not. Okay. Whoa, 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 oh boy. There you are. Oh yeah, not only just the Vulture, but there's also several other classic Spider-Man villains in the trailer as well. And there's also the... The Shocker. I don't know much about him, but from what I heard, he can do energy blasts. I mean, the trailer, the trailer is not only action-packed, but it's also pretty funny. I'm not gonna spoil it for you if you haven't seen the trailer yet. This is actually pretty nice. A futuristic aquarium. It's also a nice greenhouse. Whee! I always love having good futures. There you are, Robotnik. Get back here. Let me hit you a couple more times. Boom. I can't wait for the Spider-Man Homecoming movie to come out next year. Just taking care of one little detail. Whee! Hello, fishies. Okay. Oh! Oh, trying to cover yourself up with bubbles, huh? Really think that's gonna help you, Robotnik? You know me? Oops! Well, I must not get to... Oh. Okay. Well, this is a bit challenging. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, oh, no, no, don't do that. Okay. I need to make sure I have to keep my one ring. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. This is a bit more challenging. Ah! Must not hit those. Must not hit those. Come on. Oh, looks like he's amped up his game. Ah, oh, whoa, whoa, oh boy. Come on. Come on, he's like, ha, 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 you'll never get past my bubble shield. Come on. Okay, there we go. This is actually almost similar to the Metropolis boss fight in Sonic 2. Except with... Whoa. Okay. Next. As I was saying. Except with. There we go. He's like, ah, I'm underwater. I'm my eggmobile's leaking. As I was saying, it's it's actually almost like the egg metro the Metropolis boss fight in Sonic 2, but instead of decoys, it's bubbles. Okay then. 
that's all the time I have for today, so thank you everyone so much for watching. If you want to see the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer yourself, I'll put a link in, in, in the description below. Also, the international trailer as well. So thank you everyone so much for watching. And if you liked this video, you can click like, leave a comment about it, and you can share it with a friend if you want to. So, once again, thank you everyone so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Speed Streak out.